Hello everyone and welcome to the next Excel training video brought to you by Expand Your Skills. This time I'm going to do just a quick introduction to conditional formatting. Specifically, I was listening to a colleague who was struggling to use conditional formatting to colour a whole row based on the contents of one particular cell and that's what we're going to try and cover today. So before we start this is what we aim to end up with. Um, it is uh, my to-do list basically and is just an excerpt from a larger project I'm working on at the moment to not surprisingly produce a to-do list in Excel and basically what I wanted to happen was anything that was overdue would turn be highlighted in red, as these items are here. Anything I'd completed would be highlighted in green. And everything else, so for example, things that aren't due, would be highlighted in just plain white. Okay. Now bear in mind, I'm doing this today. The date is the 21st of September 2021. Um, so that's the guideline. It might be useful actually if I just write that. Yes, yeah, so if we just put in the date so we know where we are. And therefore, if I change the date on this line, for example, to the 23rd of September, um, it loses the colour because it's now not overdue. And if I mark it complete, if I just type in yes, it becomes green. Okay, how do we do that? Let's have a look and start from scratch. What we have here then is just a copy of the to do list with all the Conditional formatting removed. Um, so just a list of tasks, a list of dates that they're due, and whether or not they're complete. And I've just put today's date down here by way of reference. So, first things first, what do we do to uh, mark items in green or whatever colour you wish that our are complete? So, first thing, first step, let's highlight the area we're talking about. Go to conditional formatting and create a new rule here and on um, this occasion we're going to be creating from a formula um, lots of other different options which we'll go over to over um, as the weeks and months progress but today i'm just looking at this one particular example so click on use a formula and we have this box appear and our formula for this is a very simple c4 equals equals yes gosh I'm typing not very good today um okay so what i'm saying is if column c which we'll see will um i've made static by putting the dollar sign in front of it is equal to yes we want to color it or what should we do let's for set the format very slow computer i'm using today um i like to use Nice green colour for the font, uh, for the fill and for the font. Let's do that in white. OK. OK. Apply that. And OK that. And there we go. You can see. Typing in yes anywhere else. Changed it to green. Clearing where it says yes the formatting. It's very straightforward. What my colleague was doing who was struggling to get the hang of this, let me highlight that again. If I go back in now to manage rules, we'll see it. Um, yeah, I was trying to put uh, in the formula bar an if statement. No need. Um, you don't need to be putting if c4 equals yes. It's assumed uh, to put the equal sign at the beginning. So if we go to a new rule, on the formula again. And this time we're looking at column B. Let's just move that to one side so you can see. So the date column. And we're saying if column B is less than today's date, then the formatting will be okay, it's got to be red, isn't it? Because it's a sign that we're overdue. And let's do the font again in 
point. OK. OK. And apply. And there we are. So these are the items that are overdue. Again, by changing it, we can go change it to, uh, in this case, green. We'll have a look at that in a minute, but that's not quite right. Um, and by putting the car MOT back to the 1st of August, let's see, it suddenly becomes overdue. But let's look back at this one a moment. If I put the date as being one in the past. So um, this is complete, but it's also overdue. So it can't be both. Um, if it's over, if it's complete, it can't be overdue. So the colouring is wrong here. So how do we fix that? What's causing that? Let's go back in and have a look at our rules, so into manage rules. And you can see here it's doing um, the, oh, I suppose it's in the wrong order. So it's saying, is the event overdue, in which case colour it red. Okay, what we wanted to do is check, is it complete as the first one, and then colour it green and stop. So um, if we highlight that line and we just move it up so the order that they're done in is different and apply that one, and OK. Got too many incomplete things, let's get rid of some of these. All right, so pay electric bill, pause to on the 10th of September. If I now complete it, we want to change to green, which it does. So that's what we wanted. Okay, um, that's it for this video. As I say, very short, very simple. Um, just wanted to clarify a problem a colleague was having. Um, hopefully, this is of use to you and to him. Um, any comments, as always, drop them below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time around. All the best and good luck.